New York are expected to get lake effect snow this week. Other places like Buffalo and Watertown are forecasted to get a lot of snow. Yeah, they could be <laughs> measuring in feet there. So just what causes lake effect snow? Well, our weather 30 meter on this valley skyboard explains. It's getting to that time of year where we have to deal with lake effect snow here in the Great Lakes region. And the best time for it is early winter when the Great Lakes are still warm, but the land is much colder because water retains heat and land doesn't. So the land will cool down faster. And we also have colder air temperatures, which is what we need for lake effect. We need this colder air rushing in along the longest part of the lake and it picks up moisture and warmth from the lake condensing into clouds in snow and it forms these narrow bands that move inland and drop usually a decent amount of snowfall just offshore of areas near the Great Lakes. And these narrow bands of snow can produce quite a bit of snowfall. Sometimes we see snowfall rates of up to two to three inches per hour and sometimes even more depending on how much moisture we get from the lakes and how steady the wind is. When we have a steady wind keeping those narrow bands over the same neighborhoods, they can pile up with a few feet of snow in a short amount of time. And the other thing to note too is because these bands are so narrow, you can have neighbors neighborhoods that look like this and others that get no snow right nearby. So that's what makes the lake effect snow bands so dangerous and you want to make sure that you drive carefully through them because you could go from that from no snow to that snowy neighborhood. So make sure you drive safe this winter. You ready for it? Well, well, no, I don't think you're ever fully ready for <laughs> intense lake effect snow. I mean, we know that experience you're driving. It might be as simple as driving uh, through Pulaski, for example. You're going up 81, the sun's out, you see a wall. And then it's blinding. And then it's blinding, yeah. or, or you're stuck in it for a while, Peter. Right. It's, it can be very intense. Listen, there's lake effect. And then there's lake effect. Oh, sometimes, yeah, we know. <laughs> sometimes you get some mega events. You might remember several years back. Buffalo got crushed with snow, and this might be a repeat, at least across parts of the area south of Buffalo and also off of Lake Ontario as you get into Jefferson County. We're obviously going to monitor this hour by hour, and that was a great explanation there by Violet telling you how things happen as opposed to a regular nor'easter or a storm. This is intense snow in thin bands. Time is ticking until the snow starts to really come down. The city of Buffalo, Erie County, and New York State all say they're working together to keep everyone safe. Fox Buffalo's Maya Skinner joins us live in studio with how they're preparing. Maya? Officials are saying if the forecast holds up with significant snow, the best bet for residents is to stay home Friday so that plows can clear the roads. Leaders with the city of Buffalo and Erie County held press conferences with new updates and information on how they're preparing for the lake effect storm. With lots of heavy snow anticipated for western New York, the Buffalo Commissioner of Public Works says staff will be full and fleets will hit the streets as soon as snow falls. He says other agencies and private contractors will be on hand as well. In addition to the city plows, we've already coordinated assistance with New York State DOT. Uh, their equipment will be on our streets as well, assisting our city personnel, and we thank them for their assistance uh, at this point in time. Also assisting will be the Department of Homeland Security, who has committed equipment to the city as well, so we have them enlisted. And again, we thank them for their assistance in helping the city. Residents are encouraged to take advantage of the city's snowplow tracking map and buff alert system for the latest information. One of the issues that we've had in the past is parking. Um, I cannot emphasize enough and urge and ask all of the residents of the city to please follow those parking guidelines. Uh, effective uh, tomorrow. The, the storm's going to hit tomorrow evening, maybe 7 o'clock we're seeing. So if you can get your, your cars in place to follow those parking guidelines, uh, that's really going to help us from a coordination standpoint. Erie County says crews will clear 1,200 centerline miles of roads for the snowstorm, but will provide additional assistance for the city of Buffalo if requested. County Executive Mark Polencar says if forecasts hold up, he recommends private businesses and schools close on Friday. There are school districts in southern Erie County where a foot of snow does not close the school. We're able to handle that. Uh, but in the Buffalo metropolitan region, uh, three to four feet of snow, at least three feet uh, on a Friday, uh, is a sufficient reason to seriously consider closing schools and all activities thereafter. 
uh, and we'll be discussing this further with school representatives tomorrow. The winter storm in January left many residents without a plow for days. Martin says streets will have a faster response. It's a challenge that we're going to take on as soon as the snow starts. So we are going to have that equipment on the streets and available. Um, the, the, the parking issue on side streets had a lot to do with it, and I'm not saying that was the only issue. The amount of snowfall, the record kind of temperatures and snowfall that we had in January last year were a significant part of that uh, issue that we had. So, you know, hopefully we get those cars parking on the right side of the street, allows our equipment to go down. Pollen Car says a travel advisory is now in effect for Southern Erie County and the entire county will be under a travel advisory starting tomorrow at 7 p.m. We have safety tips and travel information on our website, foxbuffalo.com. Right, local and state health departments are sounding the alarm about rising flu cases. Most counties in central New York are reporting an increase in case counts. In Onondaga County, the state health department says they've received notice of 41 flu cases. In Tompkins and Oneida counties, they've both seen the number of flu cases increase beyond that number to 82 and 75 respectively. Oswego County has reported 28 flu cases. The increase in case counts contribute to issues already facing a struggling health care system. Our Maggie DeRosier spoke with county health departments that are urging communities to act now to stay healthy. The message is clear. If you haven't gotten your flu shot, now's the time before an already bad flu season becomes worse. Flu season is ahead of schedule this year. Cases normally hit at the end of October and beginning of November. This year, health officials say cases started in September. Public health officials usually look at what's happening in the southern hemisphere as to what we should expect. And um, I know in Australia, um, they've had the worst flu season that they've had in about five years um, and cases peaked higher and um, earlier than normal, which is kind of what we're seeing. State data shows a 69% increase week over week in flu hospitalizations and 15 to 17 year olds have been the greatest impacted. This year too, it's um, potentially the first season that we're seeing uh, flu, COVID, and now RSV all potentially hitting at the same time, um, which increases the burden on the healthcare system, which already is struggling. Although flu shots are recommended months ago, doctors say it's not too late to roll up your sleeves. The flu vaccination this year is going to be a good match, which is a good thing, but they won't have actual data on that until um, early next year. It was recommended by the CDC to occur in September or October, um, but still the minority of people have done so. Doctors are asking you not to forget the hygiene practices practiced during the pandemic, especially as groups prepare to gather. Let's try to get ahead of this so that it doesn't interfere too much with our upcoming holidays. Oswego County has added a flu tracker to the health department website so neighbors can stay flu aware.